Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I've got a quick tutorial for you on how you can improve the look of your catch lights in your subject's eyes when retouching. This is actually something that can happen a lot when you're photographing and it's something that's easily missed uh, whilst you're photographing a subject or a portrait. And particularly with beauty portraits, it's really important that you do have those catch lights in the eyes because they really help to illuminate the eyes. They make them look alive. As you can see on this right eye here with this particular model, the eye is looking a little bit on the dead side because unfortunately there's not much of a catch light showing and this is a really common problem, particularly when in studio. This usually happens when the model's face is not angled enough towards the light and you'll see in this particular photo we've got a catch light in the right eye but not in the left. So we are going to do a little trick that I like to do with retouching. Obviously it's always best to get this right in camera if you can, but quite often I've had a really great image that I've wanted to edit. And the only thing that's been sort of, I guess a downfall of the image is the fact that there hasn't been a catch light. So this is a really simple trick that you can use to, I guess, replicate a catch light. So all we're gonna do to this image is we're going to zoom in and you can see there's already a catch light here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna get the lasso tool just up here on the left hand side. And then I'm going to feather this out by say about 20 to 30 pixels. Let's go 30. I mean, it's gonna depend on the size of your image and how you feel best to do this particular method. And then we're just gonna draw around the catch light with the lasso. So I like to give a bit of space around the catch light just to kind of allow for that feathering that we've uh, selected. And then we're gonna hold down Control and C on the keyboard. Then we'll hold down Control V to paste and I'll go to the Move tool and you'll see we can drag out a pasted copy of the catch light. So you can see where this tutorial is basically going to be going. And I'm just gonna drag it over to this eye and we're gonna zoom in a bit further and we're just gonna move it so it's kind of in line with where the other catch light is. You have to be careful with doing this and making sure that it doesn't look like it's just been copied and pasted in. So sometimes you won't even need to erase any little bits around the catch light that we've selected, any of that extra space that we've uh, selected there. But I'm just gonna go to the eraser tool anyway, and we're just gonna clean it up a little bit. Making sure you've got a soft brush, and we're just gonna make sure the size of the brush is a lot smaller. I'm just gonna do some erasing just around the top there to make sure we make it look as natural as possible. Okay, so we might even have to move the catch light up just a little bit, just to match in a bit there. And then we're going to zoom out. So this is a really important part because you have to make sure that they're sort of roughly in the same spot on each eye. And we wanna make sure that when we're zooming out that it appears that way. So I feel like that's a really good positioning overall. It just has to be in that same vicinity that it is on the other eye. It can be a slightly left or right, but I like to make sure that it's kind of sitting in the right spot. You can kind of tweak it a little bit further though if you feel like you want more of the lashes to come through just to kind of hide that top bit a bit more. We'll zoom out again. There might be some erasing that you need to do just around the pupil as well just to make sure it's all cleaned up. And if we turn this layer on and off, you can see how much of a difference that really makes to the eyes and just how it adds that kind of little bit of glitter in the eyes. It just sort of illuminates it a little bit more, makes it look a little bit more alive. Now, this is just one example of an image where you might be missing catch lights. You may actually be missing catch lights in both eyes of the subject. And in that case, what I would do is go to a completely different image, but from the same session of photos. And then I would actually open that photo into Photoshop and copy and paste the catch light and try and maneuver them in that way. So there is always kind of a way around it if you have unfortunately not been able to get the catch light in there initially uh, while photographing. But I find that this is a really easy trick just to use and implement into your work if you're finding that you've got a really great shot that you wanna use but you're just feeling like that's a little bit of a letdown, not having the catch lights in both eyes 
or in one of the eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning about this simple trick that you can implement when you are next retouching if you do have any missing catch lights. If you do have any requests for me for Photoshop tutorials or anything of the like, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you do because I'll be posting a lot more videos in future. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.